We're standing today in the West Wing. This is the vestibule outside of the cabinet room and the Oval Office. The painting that we're interested in today is hanging over my shoulder. It's a William Carlton's 1863 painting called Watch Meeting, December 31st, 1862, Waiting for the Hour. And it relates to the 150th anniversary of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Elements that were put in the painting to be symbolic. You have a white printed document mounted on the wall that says Proclamation of Emancipation and has the January 1st, 1863 date. They're looking at a watch, the group in the center are looking at a pocket watch that has a fob that's a little anchor, uh, the traditional symbol of hope. Other hopeful signs, a cross in the far left to represent uh, you know, the hope of religion, the American flag, the hope of the, the political availability. And then the artist created the title across the bottom here with groups of words being painted on links of a chain with the idea that the chain now is broken because it's ends at each end and so it's no longer holding down the people depicted in the painting but it's been a liberating moment for them. The Emancipation Proclamation is especially important as we're now celebrating Black History Month. It was not freedom for all slaves in America but freedom in the areas of the South that were still in rebellion against the federal government. So it wasn't an all comprehensive approach to emancipation that would actually take place with the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. It's a story painting that has an interesting history for the Emancipation Proclamation subject and was for a long time hung in the Lincoln bedroom, but we brought it over here when President Obama expressed an interest in paintings that tell great stories. And so this was a nice location right outside his office to have this painting that's only been in the White House collection since the uh, mid-1970s, but the image itself had a previous White House history uh, back in the Lincoln administration.